Hey, Coach Weber here. Thanks for joining us again today. If you did have a chance to watch yesterday's video, please go back and watch it. You don't have to watch it to know what's going on today, um, but I encourage you to do so. And if you did watch it, there were, and a lot of it was new to you, I had a lot of resources on that page, make sure you go back, check them all out. You can really get a lot out of it. You know, over the next five or six days, it's gonna be available. And go back, watch it uh, when you can. And you know, the whole goal is yesterday, yesterday we showed you how to prepare going into the season, how to build a system for, you, for yourself, for your entire program, for your team, that you can get really efficient with and get laser focused every single practice and get organized, get the most out of every practice. So that's the whole key to making progress throughout the year. And, and I also went over some really good teaching tools uh, that you can use in practice specific to each position, top, bottom, neutral. Uh, you know, each, each position uh, needs to be taught just a little bit different, it needs to use some, some tools a little bit different way, and I went over each of those specifically yesterday. Today, what I want to do is I want to go over what I call our progress wheel, okay? And this truly is the secret sauce. If you, if you can use this, and this system will allow you to really stay efficient and, and use competition to, to its fullest extent. That's where you can make real change throughout the, throughout the season. If you use competition, if you just always practice, you're only gonna get so good. You don't ever really see where you're at, actually at and, and expose your weaknesses. If you can get to competition, pinpoint those weaknesses and what you need to work on as an individual, as a team, as an entire program, and then work on, you know, put together focused practice plans for that week and then do it again. Go back to competition, reevaluate, boom. And I have a little system that, um, you know, if you watch video, that's great, but a lot of coaches aren't, don't have enough time to watch video. Um, you don't even have to watch video really with this system and it's gonna be just as effective. Um, you know, you might get a little bit more if you, if you sit down and watch hours and hours of video, but you don't have to with this system and you're gonna be able to really come up with some focused practice throughout the week. So um, I'm gonna go over it right now. I'm gonna go to a screenshot. I'm gonna walk you through each of the each of the downloads that are below um, these are the tools that i use man these are on my clipboard all the time they're on my desk all the time um, so watch the video download the the free resources below and uh, you know put this system to use because you're gonna it's gonna make huge huge gains throughout the entire season hey everyone i want to go over how i get the most out of every single competition and how I use what I, what I learn at those competitions to uh, be laser focused on what I work on the following week with my athletes. So, there's, so I get the, the, the most development, the most out of the competitions, and uh, you know, I'm just getting the most out of the time that I have with these guys. So you know, I talk to my wrestlers that, about the importance of, um, you, know, you gotta look at your competitions throughout the year as, as just ways to learn about what you have to do, what you have to develop, in order to be ready for the, the grand finale, your state tournament, your national tournament, um, whatever. So you, you want to make sure you get the most out of it. You want to make sure you compete hard so you can find out you know, what you need to work on uh, to beat those guys, to climb the ladder. Um, and this is how I do it. This, I need a system to stay organized, uh, to be time efficient. Um, you know, As a coach, there's a lot of things pulling at you, taking your time. So uh, I don't want to drop the ball and just kind of randomly put practices together each week. I want to make sure they're laser focused on the needs of my team, my athletes, and this is how I do it. So the first thing is you, when you go to your competition, you got to take notes. You got to have some way to take notes. I write them down on a piece of paper. You could have a handheld tape recorder. You could do it on your phone. You could take no, you know, voice notes. Um, any any way that works for you. Take notes because you're not going to remember everything. Uh, there's so much action at tournaments that uh, you know you might remember some of the bigger points or some things, but uh, you're not going to remember all those little things, especially individual things. So take notes at your competition, and then uh, you're going to come home, and you can also analyze the video. Okay, you can sit down, and you know that can be time consuming. Uh, so maybe you try to remember the. the a, a couple matches that you want to analyze. Maybe some kids struggled, or they lost a match, or they were, um, you know, just not executing your game plan properly. Or you know, just or you can fast forward through them. Um, and this isn't mandatory. The note taking is mandatory at the competitions. Uh, in my mind, um, I don't always do the video analysis every week, just because I just don't have the time. But I always take notes. You know, I'm there at the competition. I'm there watching it. I gotta write it down. 
can't rely on it. Um, and then if you can go back and watch the videos, you know that's kind of gravy on top of it. Now, when I do, when I get back, here's here's a video analysis form. Uh, so while I'm watching the video, I want to be able to you know jot down notes, and I'll just break them down into different positions. You know, maybe what the team needs to work on. You can write down uh, what. Maybe some mental aspects, uh, some talking points throughout the week. Just have a document that you can that you can write these notes down um, while you watch the videos. And then what I want to do is I want to take my notes from the videos if I do that, and the notes from the competition, and I want to I want to organize them. I want to so maybe I come home, maybe I don't watch the videos. I got these, I got a couple. Uh, pieces of paper with a bunch of notes on them, random notes on them from the from the weekend. I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to strip those notes off of those those uh, pieces of scrap paper that I was using at the tournament and I'm going to get them organized. I'm going to write down my neutral points, my top points, my bottom points, maybe any talking points, any philosophies, um, you know, what I want to maybe a theme for the week I want to work on with the team to get their to help them peak and help them develop mentally, but I'm just going to get them organized on a sheet of paper. And this, you know, this will take 10, 15, 20 minutes tops. You just get those notes organized because those notes from the competition, they're going to be random. They're going to be, you know, one's going to be from maybe about, uh, you know, finishing shots on the feet. Then it's how, okay, we got to work on a turn. Then it's the bottom. Then it's just about one kid. And it's going to be all over the place. So get them organized um, and just organize them on this sheet right here. And then what I want to do is I want to pull this weekly planner and I'm just going to try to focus on maybe one position each day or you know one little theme each day and I'll pull so I'm gonna pull these off and you might have you know you might have a ton of notes on here and you might have to prioritize and really figure out what is most important um, this will help you do that and then so I designate um, you know kind of an, a, a topic that we're gonna cover each day and I might even write uh, talk, talking points. Okay, Monday we're going to talk about this. We need to get uh, more prepared. We need to do better warm ups or you know whatever it is. You might jot your talking points. Maybe some quick drill ideas. Your technical points. Um, maybe you want to do some uh, live situational wrestling. You need to get better at uh, a situation. You jot that that down. And these are real general. They're quick notes. And this is what you're going to put on your clipboard. And you're going to pull from this throughout the week. Uh, while you put together your practice outlines. So this is the important document. And, you know, take video analysis out, the time to look at the video, actually. Um, if you just take the notes from your competition, by the time you pull those out of, the, out of your pocket, write them into this recap form, designate them to a weekly planner, you know, you're looking at 20, 30 minutes tops. And, and then you can just put this on your clipboard and an hour before practice starts throughout the week, you just pull out your practice plan and pull these notes from each day and you got a laser focused topic uh, that your team really needs to work on every single day. Um, and you can put your practice plan, uh, plan together really, really quick. Um, so that's, that's how I do it. That's how I stay organized and I make sure I'm not just putting random practices together or I'm not sitting down on a Wednesday Thinking, uh, what's the team need to work on? Geez, what were what were we not doing good last weekend? Or uh, you know, and just throwing something together off the top of my head. It, 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 we're working on things that really matter. And if you could do this every single week throughout the season, if you could ID identify, you know, use the competitions to identify your weaknesses, and then game plan how you're going to get laser focused and work on those throughout the week, and then reevaluate again. And then do that again and just keep repeating that throughout the year. Well, you're going to see a lot of development on your team and your individuals. And you're really going to maximize the, the time that you do have with those guys. I mean, you might as well. You're going to be at practice. You gotta, you're got you going to be at the competitions. Um, you only have so much time really to work with those guys. So you, you want it to be just – you want all that time, everything you're working on, just be just – be, uh, just laser focused and and uh, be you know really count and be highly efficient. So that's how I stay organized. Uh, and and you'll know, make sure that you're. You know, it's, this isn't all technical. These and you, this is you're talking. You're looking at the mental aspects that you need to talk to your team about. You're creating themes for each day or each week to really hammer home to your teams and your individuals. And you know when you're doing all this on a Sunday or Monday after a, a term a weekend tournament. 
Uh, you might be game planning personnel issues as well. You know, if you've got uh, wrestle offs and you guys that maybe uh, you know aren't getting the job done, and you got backups that may maybe could. Uh, you know, you might, you're going to game plan that and figure out your your strategy for any wrestle off situations or your lineup situations throughout the week, and maybe get on the phone with your assistants and get everybody on the same page. Um, but this is a great way to stay organized, use your time very efficiently, and make sure your every practice matters. You're getting the most out of every single practice. So I hope you use this. I hope you like it. And I'll put these documents, uh, these PDF documents below this video. Good luck this season, and I appreciate you listening. Okay, so there's the system. All right, that's that's our progress wheel within my rapid results system. Okay, so you basically, you know, you got the competition, you evaluate, you make sure you're evaluating your competition, you're planning, you're using an organized system to plan, and then you have focused practices throughout the week, and then you go to competition. If this wheel is turning all season long, all right, you're just gonna climb on up, all right? And at the end of the season, it's gonna result in massive, gains all right because you're not just working you're not just working your your system and learning wrestling you're dialing in on what you, you know you've laid the foundation of uh, with, with the practice that begin the year what you've you know put in up to this point but then you're really pinpointing what you need to work on and this can be used as an individual you know if you're if if you're an individual uh, just a wrestler uh, you, you'd be doing this take notes watch your videos when you get home take your notes plan it out and if, if uh, coach is running practice well you you plan out what you can do after practice and, and, and grab coach and say hey coach this is what I noticed um, you know this is why I lost this match or I need to get better at this don't you think and pick his brain and then have him work with you on specific things throughout the week if you're a parent you can do the same thing during the during a competition you know you're writing down notes uh, jot down notes and maybe maybe you have to go back to some videos uh, and, and, and see how to fix it and then plan out you know throughout the week how to how to work on it with your with your wrestler um, you know obviously if you're a coach this works great okay and, and, and coaches uh, can get really overwhelmed and really busy throughout the week between their job between other you know responsibilities to promote the program and, and families and, and everything like that so you know a lot of a lot of you can't sit down and watch a bunch of video um, so if you use this you're, you're still going to be able to plan out really focused practices all week long. You're going to be you're going to be working on exactly what you need to work on. You're going to go into practice excited because you you know you're going in and you're going to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. Uh, you're going to come out of practice you know feeling great. The wrestlers are going to feel like something's. Uh, really been accomplished that day it just keeps the morale up and if you have that sheet to look at all week long saying okay Monday we're gonna work on this Tuesday this this your wheels could be turning that whole time you could be taking a drill that maybe uh, you, you know you've been using and tweak it a little bit to really address a need so it's not like you're just gonna sit down and think about things and throw it together at, at last minute you're, you're you could be looking back at that worksheet all week and thinking of ways to tweak things to, and to really address it and that keeps things fresh it, that uh, keeps practices from getting too boring. You can keep them exciting. You can tweak things a little bit. And that's all it takes. You don't have to revamp your entire practice system or your entire drills or your techniques to keep things fresh. You just gotta change it a little bit. You use the same drill, but you really focus on uh, uh, something that you, the team needs to work on or individuals need to work on. So, like I said, this is a great system. This is really the secret sauce, man. If you use this for the entire season and you're going to be planned for every single practice you're going to get the most out of every single practice you're going to constantly address the needs of your individuals and the entire team and man, you're going to catch competition you're going to pass them up you're going to bear you're going to leave them in your dust okay because not everybody's doing this most people are just got cookie cutter practices they're just working what they like to work on and they don't get really really focused on the needs and really address them every single practice and that's what this system does okay I got one more video for you tomorrow on my rapid results system okay I've shown you how to build your technical outline your your master plan how to break it up into skill sets so you can put it into an organized practice system how to how to go into practice and use drills and sparring and live situations and warm-up drills and technique technique sessions uh, to really address the needs of uh, you know your system and to 
teach effectively in each position, and I'm showing you how to use that progress wheel and constantly use the system you've built uh, to make massive gains throughout the season. Uh, and there's, there's a lot more pieces to this puzzle, and I'm going to show you them tomorrow. And I want to dive into one thing tomorrow that a lot of people ask me about, and it's, it's got to do with... Uh, addressing needs actually in the practice for everybody. You know, a lot of times you go to practice and you've got, you know, the defending state champ and the brand new kid over here. Well, how do you take care of those? So I'm going to go over a system that I use to make sure everybody's needs are taken care of in the practice every single time. It works great and it's really the reason that uh, be between this, everything I've shown you so far, and taking care of everybody that comes in the program and worrying about developing everybody in the program is really the reason that I had nine state championship teams. It wasn't because of all of my state champs. It's because of the, the guys that came in and two years later were placed in the state tournament. All right, because everybody's needs were getting taken care of. Everybody was being developed, uh, not just your superstars. Uh, people weren't getting ignored in practice. So I'm going to go over that tomorrow. So make sure you tune in. And you know, if you like, download the resources below. If you like what you're seeing, if you don't like what you're seeing, hey, do me a favor, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear you know, what you think, what you feel about uh, the two videos you've seen so far.